Placenta previa is a problem during pregnancy when the placenta completely or partially covers the opening of the uterus, cervix. The placenta is an organ that develops inside the uterus during pregnancy. It works to provide oxygen and nutrition to the baby and to remove waste. The placenta connects to your baby through the umbilical cord. Typically, the placenta is attached to the top or side of the inner wall of the uterus. Some of the possible causes and risk factors of placenta previa include low implantation of the fertilized egg, abnormalities of the uterine lining, such as fibroids, scarring of the uterine lining, endometrium. That is, with placenta previa, the placenta attaches lower in the uterus. This results in some portion of the placental tissue covering the cervix. It can result in bleeding during the pregnancy, or during, or after delivery. Changes in the uterus and placenta during pregnancy may lead to the problem correcting on its own. If it doesn't, the baby is delivered by cesarean section. The main sign of placenta previa is bright red vaginal bleeding, usually without pain, after 20 weeks of pregnancy. Sometimes, spotting happens before an event with more blood loss. The bleeding may occur with prelabor contractions of the uterus that cause pain. The bleeding may also be triggered by sex or during a medical exam. For some women, bleeding may not occur until labor. Often there is no clear event that leads to bleeding. If you have vaginal bleeding during your second or third trimester, call your health care provider right away. If the bleeding is severe, seek emergency medical care. Placenta previa is diagnosed through ultrasound, either during a routine prenatal appointment or after an episode of vaginal bleeding. Most cases of placenta previa are diagnosed during a second trimester ultrasound exam. The initial diagnosis may be done with an ultrasound device on your abdomen. For more accurate images, you may also need a transvaginal ultrasound, which uses a wand-like device placed inside your vagina. Your provider will take care with the position of the device so as not to disrupt the placenta or cause bleeding. The placenta appears homogeneous and uniformly etiogenic, with a hypoechoic subplacental venous complex located between the placenta and the myometrium. As earlier said, in most pregnancies, the placenta is located at the top or side of the uterus. In placenta previa, the placenta is located low in the uterus. The placenta might partially or completely cover the cervix. This takes us to placental location. The position of the placenta can be determined by an ultrasound, usually at the 12-week and the 20-week scans. Most commonly the placenta is located at the top of the uterus, also called the fundus. Other locations include 2. Anterior, front wall. 3. Posterior, back wall. 4. Side walls, left to right lateral. 5. Placenta previa, covering the cervix. The blood flow through the uterus is not uniform, so that the bloody supply differs when the placenta is implanted in different areas of the uterus. When the placenta is implanted in the more normal places, anterior, posterior, fundal or lateral, there are rarely any complications due to bloody supply, however, if the placenta is located at the bottom on your uterus, placenta previa, there can be more complications to consider for both the mum and baby. Thanks for watching. We will now go detaily on the types of placenta previa and the detailed, various placenta location. If you found this study interesting and have not yet subscribed, please press subscribe. You will be notified each time a video is uploaded. Subscribe.